Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all the Lord of the Rings games for the GBA. The Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring could have been a good game, but instead turned out to be just a cash in. The premise of the game is promising, Fellowship of the Ring is an RPG and since Middle Earth is a vast and very documented land, it could have turned out to be an amazing game, especially since the game is based on the book, not on the movie. But instead you wander an almost empty world, should get many dialogue encounters, but for me the world felt empty. Also the game has some poorly executed turn based combat and some bad inventory screens. But there are good parts about the game too. First off it avoids grinding by letting you avoid combat and there are no annoying random encounters. Also you can switch characters mid game as you want. But I advise you not to play the game unless you want to get really frustrated. The game is broken. There are so many glitches that it's a patience game not to get angry at the game. There are glitches that force you to start a new game, to start the game over again. My recommendation would be to not play the game. It's broken, glitchy and pretty dull when it doesn't glitch or breaks. The Lord of the Rings, the two towers, is great. You play as five unique characters, Aragorn, Gandalf, Frodo, Legolas and Eowyn. And they really are unique, from the way they control to the plot. See, depending on the character you've chosen to play as, the story slightly changes. If you choose to play as Frodo, then you get the plot from the movie. But if you choose other characters, at certain points the story detaches from the normal story from the movie and shows what the character was up to when Frodo wasn't there. And as I said, each character behaves different. Frodo can use his magic ring to turn invisible and backstab enemies, Aragorn swords around, Gandalf swords around but has also his magic staff. In rest you can collect different sorts of items, one stronger than the other, the game encourages you to explore your environment, the combat is in real time as you can see from the video and I like that the scenery changes frequently and each location looks great. I recommend this game, it's great. The Lord of the Rings The Return of the King is the sequel to the previous game, it's made by the same game company. You get a new story, one more character to play with, you can play with Gimli too, you get more items and more content overall. And even if the graphics, menus and the way the game plays are the same, somehow it feels better than the previous game, even the storytelling feels better. The Return of the King is a very good sequel to the Two Towers. The Hobbit is a great action adventure, even if at first the tasks will be boring, Having stuff to do like open the door, bring that from there or bring this there, later on the game gets exciting. The environments are diverse and I like the art style of the game. There are no problems with the controls, everything is battle smooth, you get boss battles too and some occasional puzzles. I recommend you the game, it, it's fun. The Lord of the Rings The Third Age is a turn based strategy game. You can play as both the good guys and as the bad guys. But aside of this aspect, it's a pretty basic game of this sort. You can move some squares in each direction, you select one of the few attacks your selected character has and you have to calculate your moves strategically to defeat your enemies. It doesn't have the same death as Fire Emblem, the inspiration source for this game, but it's still an okay game. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.